Hi, my name is Stephanie Crail, and we are going to work on this problem right now. The very first thing I like to do is start with each letter and draw a coordinate plane. So here, this for you, it tells us it's between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. And remember, that means it's in quadrant 4. So we're going to draw a triangle in quadrant 4. This will be our U triangle. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that means that this side over here is negative 3, and this side here is 5. If you use Pythagorean theorem, you'll find that this side right there would be 4. Again, remember that this is the angle we're talking about. So now we're going to do the same thing for V. V, it tells us, is between 0 and pi over 2. So that puts it, the triangle in quadrant 1. Here's our angle right here. Cosine is adjacent, which makes this 15, over hypotenuse 17. If you use Pythagorean theorem here, you'll find that this side is 8. So once we have that, then we can use, we can find the tangent of u over v. And to do that, we have to use a, a trig identity, should be in your textbook. Tangent of u plus v is equal to the tangent of u plus the tangent of v over 1 minus the tangent of u times the tangent of v. So now we're going to use our triangles to fill in those in, that information. The tangent of u tells us to use triangle u, and the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that would be negative 3 over 4. And then for tangent of v, we're going to use our v triangle. And again, opposite over adjacent. So we would get 8 over 15. And those numbers are the same numbers we use in the bottom. So for tangent of u, we would have negative 3 fourths. And for tangent of v, we would have 8 fifteenths. And now when I look at this, I see that my common denominator between 4 and 15 is 60. So I like to multiply the top and the bottom by 60 so I can get rid of those fractions inside the fractions. So 60 times negative 3 fourths is negative 45. And 60 times 8 fifteenths is 32. Here, 60 times 1 is 60. And before we do this last one, it might help to do this multiplication off to the side. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Hmm. And 4 times 15 is 60. So if you take negative 60, or 60, I mean, times this negative 24 over 60, you get a negative 24 but there was already a negative in the problem. So when we simplify that, we get negative 13 over 60 plus 24, which is 84. And that's our final answer. Again, my name is Stephanie Crail, and I'd be happy to help you further.